I have to say that the U.S. fully supports Aegea. Um, and why? It goes straight at the heart of a major challenge, but a challenge that could be an opportunity if we do the right things. And that's mobilizing concessional finance for early stage project preparation to build the pipeline of bankable and yes, climate aligned projects, right? So that's the purpose. And we've been talking about two realities that are, that are facing us. Number one, that, and President Ruto spoke about this very eloquently and fortunately, which is that you know, the Africa faces and is exposed to climate change in particularly harsh ways, right? The loss of life, of livestock, agricultural land. Second reality, and you said it, President Adeshina, there is so much infrastructure yet to be built. So the only conclusion, as you said, President Adeshina, is that we need to build green or green existing infrastructure. And to do that, public money will not be enough. But the harsh reality is that private investment in infrastructure in Africa has actually been declining. So I hope that this panel and what AGEA is trying to do will help start to reverse this disturbing trend. Now, there's another conundrum. The landscape is full of project preparation facilities, and yet we don't actually have well-functioning <laughs> sufficient well-functioning project uh, preparation facilities. And so that's where I have high expectations of IGEA to come in with the right expertise. And here I have to uh, uh, sort of congratulate the special envoy who has the mix of policy, technical, and private sector skills to lead IGEA. The ex expertise and the partners of IGEA, I look at Alain here of Africa 50, leading on the, 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 the knowledge of the entire African Development Bank to really play differently in this field and also, I have expectations, President Adeshina, that AGEA can perhaps help play a coordination role across different project preparation facilities on the continent so that the financial and, and human resources that do exist can be leveraged more efficiently and effectively. Also, I think the standards that AGEA will use hopefully will be of the highest quality, leveraging the quality infrastructure investment standards, for example, or blue dot. And of course, of course, making sure that all infrastructure is built in a way to be resilient so that it can provide value, not only to the governments that are helping to finance them, but of course, to the end users, to the everyday women and men who will benefit from the infrastructure.